EFA with M plus. So this is the M plus software. So the this is the menu bar. On the menu bar you find file then new. So you will see a uh, new um, this kind of the new window will open up. Uh, and uh, here you have to write commands, typically like this one. I have already written the commands to save times. So then um, go to file and save it. And uh, remember, save it exactly in the same folder where your data file is located. So then uh, let me write the commands. So title column is equal to here. I have to give the name of my project. So then then data file is equal to here, I have to give exact name of the data file with extension dot that. So then variables, the column names are, these are all variables contained in the data set. So then use variables are, these are the variables I'll use in EFA. So now then analysis, column type is equal to EFA. So here I have to give the range of the number of factors to be extracted. Uh, so I'm expecting two to three factors. So then semicolon, then estimates is equal to ML semicolon, then plot uh, colon type is equal to plot to uh, semicolon. So it will help me in producing the script plot. So you have seen that at the end of each command, I have put the symbol of semicolon. So semicolon is an indication that the command is ending here. So uh, just save it and uh, run it. So here we go. So here are the results. So initially you find the summary of the analysis. So then you can proceed towards the icon values. So these are the icon values. So factor one's uh, value is 4.994. For second one is 1.938. For third one is 0.960. For fourth one is 0.658. So it seems that uh, three factors would be appropriate for analysis. So let me examine the fit analysis. So you see we had given a range of two to three factors. So let's examine first the uh, fit analysis for the two factor analysis. So here are the RMCA. RMCA you see here 0.129. It's uh, on higher sides. It's not acceptable. Uh, it should be less than uh, 0.08. Ideally it should be less than 0.05. CFI is fine. It should be greater than 0.9. Uh, TLI is not fine. So then SRMR uh, looks fine. It should be ideally it should be less than 0 0.05 but less than 0 0.08 is acceptable. So let's examine the you know, three factor. So keep scrolling down. So here you find. So these are the findings for the three factors. So you see here. So chi square, chi square uh, looks a little fine. So RMC, RMC is no acceptable. So CFI, CFI is very much acceptable. TLI is also acceptable. So then SRMR is also acceptable. So on the basis of uh, this, uh, these findings, so we can come to the conclusion that the three factors are appropriate for this data. Now, straight away, we can proceed towards the uh, uh, loadings. So here are the Jumin's rotator loadings. So you see here OC1, OC2, OC3. So they are loading on uh, factor 1. Wait a second. Wait a second. So OC3 is loading on factor 2 also. It means it's creating problems. So we can remove it for further analysis. So C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, they're all loading on factor 2. OP1, OP2, OP3, they are loading on uh, factor 3. So uh, uh, usually uh, 0.45 and above it's acceptable. Higher is the better. So let's uh, remove OC3 and rerun the analysis. So how I'll do it? I, I don't need to remove it from the first list. I have to remove it from the second list. So just remove it and save the it and run it again. So here we go. So you can examine uh, the results in the same way as we did in the previous case. So thanks for watching.